another recap video! Tuesday Night Smackdown recap! And, yes, we just did this right after our Raw. Yes. Now, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods start off Smackdown. They're pretty much just talking about Friday that Kofi and uh, Ziggler. And then, how glad it is to be champ, whatever. And he was in Africa. Yeah, he's showing that he was in Africa with all the kids and whatnot. And then, um, Ziggler comes out and he's just pretty much saying... Let me say, let me do this. Because I'm just, because you're going to go for an hour ahead. for it. Totally. It should have been me! I, I was there for you! I cheered for you in the back! It should have been me! It should have been me! I should have been champion! It's just like that, just throwing a little tantrum and then... And then Kofi's like Kofi's saying, Yeah, but you quit when you didn't get your way and now you're back and you're just whining. Yeah, for it's true. He he left the title down and then left. And then he got pissed off when Kofi brought that up. <laughs> and then of course Owens and Zane come out for their match. Against... The best friends are back! Yay! Oh, Sammy and Owens. First Watson. Um, but our heroes are triumphant. Yeah, exactly. And we have Dolph Ziggler in the back, just watching, going, mm -hmm. you precious. <laughs> you see me, precious. Ziggler, Ziggler. Seriously, they gotta do that. Yeah. They need to do, like, funny things that make people interested. But then again, people will be like, why? This is just cringe factor. But they want Kofi, um, right, did a trouble, Woods? yeah, <sighs> Kofi did a trouble in Paradise on Zami Zayn for the win. Zami Zayn, the weakest link. Yeah. And of course, Zagler attacked Kofi after the match. Of well, course. excuse me, what was that? What? Did you say Ziggler or did, did my ears, uh, my Norwegian Puerto Rican ears hear you say Zag Zagler? Ziggler. You said Zagler. Zig Zagler. Ziggler attacked. Of course he's gonna attack. After the match. And then of course. We have a moment of bliss with Bailey. Yep, and then there's a moment of bliss, Bailey, and then Bailey's looking for a new opponent, and then Bliss stops her and says, Hold on, I gotta get my coffee, hold on. And then she finally gets her coffee, and then she smacks the coffee out of Alexa Bliss's hand, and Bliss goes, Bailey, is that the champ you wanna be? Rude. Then we have Carmella come out. Yeah, and then Carmella. And she goes, Bliss, you have no right challenging ba uh, Bailey for that title. In fact, it should be a SmackDown girl to be ch uh, to to challenge her. And then we have Pinky P uh, Pinky Peacock Charlotte show Charlotte up. Charlotte showing up, and she's pretty much saying that at stomping uh stomping grounds. Yeah, it's gonna be whoever wins the triple threat tonight. And she goes, it's going to be Carmella versus Lexa Bliss. Hmm, let me see. Who's who's it? Me! Woo! Okay, seriously, Stomping Grounds? Yeah, and whoever wins that goes against Bailey at Stomping Grounds. I don't know. What. Stomping Grounds. I don't know. What the F? A stomping Grounds sounds like another thing. Okay. Here's the thing, why can't we just use the old name for pay-per-views? I don't know. Like Stomping Grounds. Stomping Grounds is like, um, like the, like what NXT was, or something like that. The, the, the developed place. That's usually how, usually like what it is. It's the place where you fought. Your old Stomping Grounds and stuff. I don't know. I sound. I sound stupid. I, I, don't, I don't know. What happened to Armageddon? No mercy. Well, that's probably all that. All those pay-per-views. Bring those ones. Those were '90s and 2000s edgy, edgy stuff. That's what got people to be like. Ooh, those were the good pay-per-views. First, bad blood. Because usually bad blood, you always have the first blood match. But now that you can't cut, you can't cut the wrestlers. You can't hurt them. Well, yeah. Alright. Lars Sullivan exclusive interview. Yeah. I'm a freak. And I'm proud. 
and I'm just gonna beat everybody up. That's it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Done. That's it. That's that. That's it. Yeah. Now our uh, uh, our truth. Let's see. There was a little funny. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was like they were backstage with Carmella. And truth is like, I man, can't, I can't handle this title anymore, man. I can't do it. And then, uh, Carmella funny. gets a phone call from Shane, and he goes, "The rule. Uh, yeah, the rules are to blame." But he's like. I'm going to defend it in an actual official match. Yeah. My opponent, he's in the ring. And then he just goes to it, and it's Elias, and it's a lumberjack match. Yeah, he goes to the ring, it's Elias, lumberjack match, and all the other star uh, superstars cannot do anything yeah, during got, the match. Yeah, that little, 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 little guy who constantly is craving that belt is right there in the ring. He's got wanted posters. Drake Maverick. I can't remember his name because I don't care. And then let's see. Anyway. Let's see. Elias wins. After the match, our truth rolls out of the ring. Everybody jumps Elias. Elias escapes and while everybody's beating each other up. He's, uh, he's crawling, trying to say, oh, I'm just going to sneak away. He sees our truth. They <laughs> both claw, uh, crawl under the mat. The ref follows them. We just hear the bell ring, and our truth is just running out of the ring with a bell. Yay, our truth! Okay, he loses seriously. it, but he's back. I don't know. Just... Oh man, it was it. The, the, it's not really a belt worth taking seriously. This is just comedy. I think it's, I think they just have to have something for our truth to do. Exactly. With him being his funny self, I think they just want to do it for our truth. I know, but I don't know. I feel like I'm going to end up having a brain injury. And then he goes, I could feel, I could feel my brain cells just dying just seeing this. And then, and Shane goes, McMahon. Yeah, Shane McMahon and Revival. They're just pretty much saying, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be, we're gonna beat Roman Reigns. <laughs> and then, um, showing how he Superman punched him on Raw, and looking at Shane. Yeah, and then. So, um, Roman Reigns comes out, and he's looking at, he, he's super- McIntyre comes out of nowhere with a claymore kick. Well, the Revival's coming after him, and he's Superman punching them both, and then he's going after, he's walking towards Shane, and then, I don't know, we're claymore kick. And then it's our ladies triple threat match. Yeah. Carmella, Charlotte, and Bliss, and yeah. Bliss wins. Bliss actually won. She, um, pins Carmella. But what move did she do? You forgot! You forgot to write that down! No. Because <laughs> all I see I, well, right I, here on this paper, because usually you always write about what happens, and all you say is pin Carmella. So there you go. It's I over. I think she did um some kind of like DDT thing, I think. I don't even know. But I know it's because um, you have Manny Rose and Sonya Deville sitting there watching. I think they just, they like distract Carmella. Because... What, Carmella when that hurt with them at Money in the Bank? Hmm. Alright, so. here's a match that never actually did get a chance to happen. Cruz versus Cien Omaz. But Finn Balor shows up. Yeah, it didn't really even happen. It. Finn Balor comes out and he's just attacking. He does Sling Blade. But Vega ends up doing something to help Omaz. And Omaz does his like, hammer DDC on Balor. And they're just like, uh-huh. Yeah, we're gonna win this Friday. No, you're not. not the, demon, you're not gonna beat Demon Finn. No, yeah, every time Balor is the Demon Finn, he always ends up winning. So. But then, so end the uh, night. We got Goldberg. 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 Yeah, he's thanking the fans and he's saying how he's gonna, he's gonna, he's looking forward to fighting the Undertaker. It's been twenty years in the making, and he goes. Go, he goes, Undertaker, you're next to rest in peace. And then it goes dark. And Undertaker just shows up, and they're both staring each other in the face. And then all of a sudden it... Goes. Yeah, Undertaker's right there, and, then, and they stare each other in the face, and then the match goes dark, the ring goes dark, and then uh, Goldberg has the last few words, and he goes, I'll see you, I'll see you on Friday. Yeah, it's going to be a ride. So, yep. That's it. That pretty much was SmackDown. Really. I know. What did you thought about SmackDown? I thought it was okay. It was okay. But since it's, it's Wednesday, and we got more impor- pressing things to do. Yeah, we're going to be watching... King of the Monsters. And NXT. 
<laughs> now, Ashley, seriously, now that's gonna be a real wrestling match. Yeah. You can't get more uh, wrestling than that. Giant monsters fighting each other. I'm looking forward to King the King Ghidorah. We actually mean just when I do a recap, maybe. Who knows? It depends know. if it's that good. We don't know. We have to see. I know you're gonna forget about the people characters because usually everybody forgets. Who about cares the about the people characters? They're not the, there to see people. Let's see. The people are just to help move the plot, but then again, it's a giant monster movie. The monsters are the stars. Even though you got some good Hollywood actors and people from TV shows, they don't hold a, hold a candle. Don't? It's like wrestling. Oh, wait, we also forgot another thing. What? Finn, I mean, Aleister Black, he's saying, oh, he's getting tired of match. waiting because everybody's a coward. No one wants to pick a fight. Here's the thing. Instead of, here, Black, Aleister Black, here, here, here. Here's, here's some advice. Don't look don't wait for to pick a fight. You go and find the biggest, toughest some bitch right there in SmackDown, and you kick his ass right there in front of everybody. There you go. There we go. Alex the Black, just fight Lars Sullivan. He's not. He's not. That'll be nothing. Nobody will care about that. Well, who's, who's the? the who? Let's see. There's Kofi, but then your dad's gonna complain saying. He gets the title show, baby! But then again, hey, make your name known. Uh, fight him. Yeah, just fight. Don't, fight somebody. Don't wait. Just fight. Don't wait for an opportunity. Except our, just except, go except, for it. Except for our truth Don't do it. Otherwise, that's career suicide. Don't don't fight him yet. No. Don't be like them little... Don't, don't be like those guys that just want their 15 minutes of fame. Fight. Uh, Who has the intercontinental championship? Oh, Finn does. Fight Finn. Fight Finn. He has to. There play. you go. Kicks Ian Almas out about... of that match and replaced him with. with... Okay, Alistair I want to see Alistair Black versus Demon Finn, not Almas. That would be a way better thing. Ew. Oh my god, whoa, man. Yo, there you go. There you go. WWE, we fixed your problem. Put us on the rank stack for say, okay. Because it's like this. Here's how I think WWE does their little matchups and their rivalries. They have a big chalkboard with the pictures of the wrestlers. And they got little darts. And they like, okay, let's see. We got um Finn Balor. And he's going to fight our um, truth No, 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 no. Okay, now he's fighting Almez. There you go. Yeah. No one saw that. You saw it, right? No one saw that. Yeah. And we can't have the um the fans' choice. We can't have no, like, the fans' thing because no. that's easy. That's cheat. That's rigged. Yeah, they really say. So the fans have no power. They say all oh, the fans have the power, but no, it's not. It's the money making. It's the money makers. It's the merchandise. Whoever's get, uh, merch is selling off like hotcakes. Yeah. Who's getting more um, autographs and picture takings? There you go. Yeah. And whoever's in the movies. I think I like Miz. Well, Miz was. Why isn't Braun Strowman in Godzilla? Imagine him. Imagine him as Godzilla. Give him a, uh, uh, give him the Ant Man thing and let him grow super size and have him fight. But then again, they could use him for Kong. If they need someone to mocap, yeah, that'd be funny to see that. To see that. I <laughs> don't right. know, but yeah. So let us know and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.